Hey guys, welcome to Commercial Break. Guess what? It's our 40th episode. Can we give it up in the house tonight? 40th episode of Commercial Break, guys, here live on the stream.tv. I'm Rebecca Michael, and I am your host tonight. And my wonderful co-host is in the chat room celebrating 40 episodes, Mike Beatrice. You know, Rebecca, 40 is the new 30. So really, it's our 30th That's episode. That's right. It's Hollywood, you know. <laughs> yes. we got to dial it down. Uh, excited to be here, Rebecca, and I am monitoring the chat rooms, uh, keeping tabs on our chat stars' questions and comments and tweets, all of it real time. Uh, everyone's excited to be here. Rebecca, what do you have for us today? Well, I am super psyched because you guys will remember this beautiful woman from an AT&T ad that was done almost like a rewind between this couple and you get to see their whole life flash before you. Please welcome Katherine Kresge to commercial break. Yay! <laughs> and she, she has the honor of being our 40th wow. episode guest. That is major, That's Catherine. exciting. <laughs> you just hit the commercial break lottery. I just Ooh, want you to know that. Check, yes. <laughs> check something off her career list. Commercial break lottery. <laughs> um, Catherine, this AT&T spot, uh, it was very popular. It ran for a while. Um, and it, it tells this beautiful story. Tell us about the special format that they use to shoot this. Yes, so they started in the future, right. and um, they were inaugurating the future president, mm -hmm. and then it just went and rewind and kind of saw how we got to that point, which was they saw you see the parents at the inauguration, and then you see them as a couple mm -hmm. and as uh, a new newlywed couple and, a, and then on their first date and then the moment that they meet in the subway. Yeah, they yeah. meet on like a train and he sees her and yeah. many of you guys would know the guy because he's in a lot of spots, um, actually I think for Amazon right now. So, um, but it's really cool. They fall in love and it's so special and precious. And <laughs> Mike, do they remember that ad? Uh, yes, Rebecca, the chat stars <laughs> love this ad and we already have some questions rolling in. Uh, Runaway Train wants to know, Catherine, how do you audition for something like this where there's no dialogue and it's just a look? That's a great question, actually. They had us um, in the room, a girl and a guy, and um, they had a couple of chairs off to the left, and I had to walk in like I was going on the train station right past the guy, and he was supposed to kind of notice me, <laughs> <laughs> but I wasn't supposed to notice him, and so I was just sitting down in the chair and, you know, looking through a magazine, and then he's supposed to have a moment where he's deciding whether or not to get on the train or not. And then he comes in and he sits down and then we have a little meet cute moment. Yeah, <laughs> on it's the a train. total meet cute. Yeah. It is. And you can see the chemistry and you guys are like, we're going to have babies. Um, <laughs> so Folgers is a huge name in advertising and they're really known for their ads over the years. Very memorable spots. And you play a woman who wakes up, smells her coffee. <laughs> gets her coffee, starts her day, and what is it that she's doing today that's so important? She is getting ready to get on a dance class, yeah. <laughs> is it Zumba? It Zumba. feels like Zumba. Zumba. Yeah, it's, it's cute though, yeah. and it, another one that ran a lot um, and very popular, but did you have to like work with an instructor to shoot this? or? Yes, so um, actually for the audition we had to learn the choreography and do it in the room. Um, and they were saying that, you know, it's someone who needs to take dance classes, so you didn't have to really perfect the dance, which was right. really, really helpful for the audition. Because, <laughs> you know, it's hard to So you had to go in the room and do some moves. Yes. Oh my gosh. So, but then we had a choreographer who worked with us for like a whole day and a half to make sure we were all on the same page. Yeah, yeah. That's, um, that's... And then we danced a lot when we were actually shooting it, so... It wow, really you must have been exhausted after that. M Mike, I know you like to wake up to the smell of folders, and I know you wake up to feeding your chickens every day on your little I farm do, out I there. I do, Rebecca. I get up at the crack of nonsense to deal with that, and what I've done <laughs> is I've tied in my alarm clock to the coffee maker, so the snooze button is the same button that starts the coffee. It's genius, Rebecca. That's an amazing uh, invention. Uh, the, by the way, this commercial, I pulled a hamstring just watching it. It's so, oh my goodness. Um, we have a question. Uh, Yogi Bears Yogi wants to know, Catherine, are you actually drinking coffee on the set? Is it hot coffee? And how easy Ooh. is it to get over-caffeinated while you're working? 
Excellent oh. question. Um, I did pour real coffee, and then when I was kind of standing there, I think maybe it was like a half cup, so I wouldn't spill it on myself. Right. But um, I don't think we overdid it with the coffee, because otherwise, you know, who can work when you're overly caffeinated? I don't know. <laughs> I would be a mess. Like if it would I am a jittery mess. <laughs> if I have one cup, I'm just it's like I'm on speed. It's awful. Um, you've also been a spokeswoman for Xerox, yes. uh, which is one of the world's most successful companies. Uh, been around for a while. Uh, you jump from set to set in all of these spots. I noticed you've done several. Um, is that a lot of work to work with so many sets? It seems like a lot of locations, a lot of actors. A lot of production. Yeah, well, it's it's just a lot of fun because you get to bounce around town. We shot it in New Jersey and in New York, so oh, we got cool. to travel around a little bit. And um, you know, we were shooting in the Hoboken train station for part of it, which was really fun. Mm -hmm. um, and then we were in this office space and a bank vault. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. it was kind of fun. And then you don't have to say all of the lines the whole time. You get to say one line at a time, which oh, well, that makes know. it a lot easier. <laughs> How excited do you get when they when you book something that you get to shoot somewhere else and they fly oh, you in and that's kind of it's amazing. A nice free <laughs> yes. little trip. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, so I've gotten to travel to Vancouver, to China, to Arizona, which was fun. My parents live there, so they got to visit on set. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so Mom and fun. Dad, look at me. Yeah, yeah. Proud. <laughs> yeah. Everyone wants to do that. Yeah, you know? I love a free plane ticket. I'll take yeah, it. Yeah, totally. Um, you recently starred in Franklin and Bash, where you played, I think, for the first time, a, a serious attorney on television, which is, I think is a very, it's a milestone for a lot of actors mm -hmm. to play an attorney. Um, tell us a little bit about working on such a successful show. It's oh, a big thank deal. thank you. Oh, it was honestly just the best because I've always wanted to play a lawyer, and um, mm -hmm. it was really great to be able to just do that. But then in my scene, I'm talking with, Mark Paul Gossler and right. then John Ratzenberger from uh, you know Cheers. So it was kind of this triangulation of awesomeness. I was like in the middle of these two huge TV stars. In was the it scene. intimidating for you? You know, it was just so fun. Yeah. It was fun because when are you ever going to be able to do something like that? Exactly. So yeah. Yeah. And they're both really, really great guys. So nice and supportive. So yeah. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Mike, you did a courtroom scene once, didn't you? Um, and I was the attorney and you were the criminal? Yes, and it yeah. turns out uh, that uh, the trial did not go my way and they sentenced me to five years of commercial break. <laughs> That's no true. parole for good behavior. Uh, <laughs> our fans are really interested about the cast of uh, Franklin and Bash. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, Mark Paul Gosseler and Breckin Meyer. Uh, following up on, on what you uh, shared, uh, Dustin Diamond in the Rough wants to know, did you geek out uh, to be with Zach from Saved by the Bell? Oh, uh, yeah. And is he cool about it? <laughs> I had my private moment of geeking out, maybe. <laughs> I mean, I did grow up watching Saved by the Bell, yeah. so what can you do? You just you have to geek out a little bit. But no, you know, you just try to play it cool and like not let on that it's like totally awesome that you're acting with him. So <laughs> yeah, that's kind <laughs> of you know a big everyone deal. is playing it pretty cool. You've worked with a lot of big stars, like you've worked with Mark Harmon and a bunch of other people. Sometimes I would think that that would be just, I'd get a little starstruck maybe in the moment, or you're like, wow, Definitely. I'm really working with this person. Absolutely, yeah. you know, um, you kind of pinch yourself and realize, wow, this is happening. Um, but yeah, you just try to be cool and, and have fun and just enjoy the experience. Right, and not let it make you get nervous. Intimidated. Yeah. Um, you played an important role as a doctor in the new 90210, um, not to be confused with the Beverly Hills 90210. What was your experience uh, like working on such a classic? I mean, I know now they've brought it back and everything, uh, but it's still a big name franchise. Exactly, it's, yeah. a, it's a spelling franchise, really. Yeah, so. no, that was really fun. Um, again, I, I kind of was having fun with all the Doctor lingo, yeah, jargon it's like stuff. Lawyer, then <laughs> yeah. doctor, like you're hitting all the good I know. spots as an so actor. Was actually, for doing that part of it was kind of stressful. You know, you don't want to get it wrong and mispronounce this big long word you're supposed to say. Um, but yeah, it was cool to be part of such a big show. And then they asked me back to do a couple more episodes, which is like totally cool. So um, really fun. Well, I watched the clips on that, and you had me convinced that you went to medical school. Um, Mike, you have a connection to 90210. Would you like to share that with Catherine? Yes, Rebecca. I may or may not have gone to prom with Jenny Garth from 90210. And if you can see the photo, <laughs> when I show that, uh, when I show people it that photo. It did happen. It did happen. It did happen. It did. It's uh, true. It's, it's a true actually, story. It's a deleted scene from my life. <laughs> and people see that photo and they're not like, hey, you know Jenny Garth. They're like, hey, why did you choose that haircut, Mike? <laughs> That's yeah, what comes up. Most. The haircut is scary. Uh, but people love 90210, and we oh, we have uh, we have great questions from the chat yeah. room. Uh, 
Dylan's wrecked Porsche would like to ask you, uh, Catherine, in addition to commercial break, mm -hmm. what is your favorite television show or guilty viewing <gasps> pleasure? Ooh. Oh, great question. I mean, I love Homeland oh, and, you know, can't get enough. Game of Thrones and my guilty pleasures are Scandal and Revenge. Oh, love yes. Revenge. Love it. <laughs> We've got to get you on Homeland somehow. <gasps> right. Can yeah. we make that happen? If we Who make that we happen, we you call? need to come back and visit us. Okay. <laughs> um, real quick, you played, was it Niederbrook? Yes, in Christine Niederbrook. It's a Good Day to Die Hard, yeah. uh, which was with Bruce Willis, huge franchise film mega hit <laughs> series. I mean, hello, a Die Hard film. <laughs> um, that must have been epic for you. Was so that, cool, yeah. I what mean, was it like to book that when you got the call? You're like, yes. There was a lot of jumping around and screaming and flailing mm -hmm. of my arms. Yeah, that was really exciting. Um, and you know, I was actually a huge 24 fan, mm -hmm. so I really loved the feeling like I was on that set and it was just, you know, high paced and so um, big action uh, yeah, movie, yeah, yeah, yeah. blockbuster. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And working on such a big film is is the treatment different? Is it? I mean, what's it like? What's what's the difference, yeah, difference I mean, between that and the TV shows you do? Yeah, I mean, you can tell there's just a lot more production happening. Mm -hmm. So the equipment that they were using, all the TV screens, um, just a much more production value, I guess. So it's the same thing generally, but you can tell there's just a lot more money flying around, you know? Yeah, oh, totally. <laughs> it's a studio thing. film. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Awesome. Well, Mike, one question on Die Hard. You got one? Absolutely. Uh, Special Agent Johnson uh, would like to ask, <laughs> did you have to go through any stunt training uh, oh. for A Good Day to Die Hard? Oh, I wish. No, unfortunately, it was just me doing my thing. What was your character in it? Because I haven't seen the film yet. Tell yeah, I was about. playing a CIA agent. Ooh. Um, so Homeland, hello. Yeah, exactly. Homeland, call her. <laughs> she has. Uh. She could be the new agent that becomes Carrie's friend. Whoa. There you go. Boom. <laughs> um, yeah. So was, he he calls in. Bruce Willis' son son calls into the CIA, and I'm in the the room where all the action's happening. So we're watching. We have a drone flying in and. Um, kind of keeping tabs on him in Moscow. So I was in that scene where oh, he calls into so the cool. CIA. Awesome, <laughs> I love it. Okay guys, so it's time for Jingle Jangle. Okay guys, so people remember Jingles more than they remember their childhood favorite cereal. Catherine, what was your favorite <laughs> Jingle? Well, as a child of the 80s, I uh, grew up with, there's these two dolls, um, little, my buddy, and kid's sister, oh and they gosh. had this jingle that would get stuck in your head, right? My buddy, my buddy, my buddy, my buddy, wherever I go, he goes. <laughs> and then kid's sister came out. Kid's sister, kid's sister, kid's sister, kid's sister. <laughs> wherever I go, she goes. I totally remember <laughs> right? the my buddy, yes. I totally, <laughs> Mike, do you remember that? I, I do, and, and in fact, my buddy was my only buddy as a child. <laughs> <laughs> that was your whoopee. You slept next to the doll yeah. all night. Yes. I no. like that there was one for girls and one for guys. Yeah, there was. Know? And it was something like, my buddy and me. Yes. Yeah, or something like that at the end. By Hasbro. I don't even know if it was Hasbro. <laughs> um, so, guys, that's Jingle Jingle. Yay. <laughs> all right, chat stars, this is my favorite part of the show because it's mine. This is where we take five adjectives provided by you, the chat viewers, and then we take those uh, five adjectives, give them to our guest, Catherine, and then Catherine uses said words to sell you a mystery product. Rebecca, what is today's mystery product? Today's mystery product is a megaphone. Woohoo! Purple megaphone. Here we go! <laughs> oh gosh. So, uh, Mike, what are the words? <laughs> If only we could have gotten my buddy, that could have been a product. I know. Uh, the words for today are caffeinated, lovely, brilliant, copied, and practical. So Catherine, whenever you're ready. All right, sell us. Mm. Having trouble being heard across the room? Are you feeling um, underappreciated? Um, well, get this brilliant uh, megaphone and um, have a really practical way to reach across the room. Um, it's really, really works well if you're feeling very caffeinated as well because <laughs> you'll really amplify yourself. Um, and it's likely to be a very copied activity because you'll be so brilliant. <laughs> Did I use all the words? Yes, I think okay. so. Yay! <laughs> Good job. Megaphone! She booked it. <laughs> <laughs> 
folks. <laughs> she wins the megaphone. She gets yes. to take it home with her today. Burr, burr, burr. So before you leave us, lovely lady, tell us what's next for you. Oh, um, so in January on the 17th, uh, go to your theater for Devil's Do. Awesome. I make an appearance in this very uh, scary horror film. <laughs> Check that out. And um, yes, definitely have some commercials that have um, already been shot, so stay tuned. Don't fast forward through the commercial break, because I might yeah, show up. Because <laughs> she might show up there, right. folks. And what's your uh, Twitter? At Katherine Kresge. And website? KatherineKresge.com. Awesome. So follow her, guys, on her Twitter. Mm -hmm. um, check out her website. And you were such a lovely guest. Thank Thanks. you so much for being here, Katherine. Yay. Awesome. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and for more Commercial Break, subscribe now.